Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we are going to try out some very exciting things. We are going to try out some new lashes and a new eyeliner lash glue situation. So this is a brand that I have been eyeing for a while. It is Volvore Lashes and I actually never have gotten a chance to try them and they were really nice enough to reach out to me and want to send me a couple other things to try out for you guys and I can't wait to do it because I have been looking at this brand for a while and their lashes look so pretty and they came out with a new lash glue eyeliner which I am all about that life right now. I have been using a drugstore one that I like but it just causes a little problems here and there but this one sounds really amazing so I want to do a full wear test, give you guys an honest review and see how everything goes. They sent me this Velour too easy lash applicator. So it is a lash applicator that has a little comb on one end and then it's like little tweezers on the other end that will help us put the lashes on. So I'm excited to give that a try. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. You guys know I am all about that gold life and it's very lightweight and I can just see that this will help us put the lashes on. So we'll use that. And then they sent me a whole bunch of these lashes from their Effortless collection. So the really cool thing about this collection is natural lashes that you should be able to wear every day. And they're effortless because you don't need to measure, you don't have to trim them so they fit your eye. It just basically gives you no drama. Like you should be able to take them out of the box and pop them right onto your eye. And especially with the eyeliner now that is also an adhesive you don't even have to do with like the standard lash glue situation they're all just really pretty and really cute ones this pair is no drama this pair is for real though <laughs> cute names this pair is would I lie and then this last pair that I got is called mini me and these ones are really pretty. These ones are the ones that I'm drawn to a little bit more. And I must say, I love, love, love the packaging too. You take off the sleeve, and this is the sleeve that had like the name on it. And then you can put your lashes back into this carrying case and it's a really nice, hard, sturdy plastic carrying case. And yep, back here it just says that it's no measuring, no trimming, no drama. So I like that, you know, these will just fit your eye and it's totally okay. They do look a little bit short, but it makes it really comfortable. I promise you won't really be able to tell, but it will be a little bit shorter and so it doesn't poke your outer or inner corner or anything like that. Yay, I can't wait to try this out, but seriously, this box is so heavy duty and it is really nice. All right, and then the prices of these lashes aren't bad at all. So they range from like $26 to $29. And the really great thing is that they're very high quality and you can wear them up to 25 times, which is really awesome where I know like some drugstore brands, they may be less expensive, but they're just not as high quality. Like I can tell that there's a really nice strip on these that will be sturdy. And I must say that using the lash glue eyeliner, I find that I don't have to like like peel the excess lash glue or anything off of them and so my lashes that I've been wearing have been actually been able to last even longer because there's not a lot of residue that ends up on these lashes so you can use them because I find that when you're like picking off the lash glue when you're taking them off at night is really what kind of messes up the lashes so I think it'll last even longer this really pretty applicator is $22 and this is the eyeliner that they sent me this is the eyeliner and lash adhesive in one and it is $23 again their packaging is so chic and pretty isn't it so here is the eyeliner and lash glue hybrid it comes with a really really fine pointy felt tip applicator so that is really nice and yeah so while it's wet it acts as a lash glue and then it will dry and just be like eyeliner so that sounds really easy to me i have already have my full face of makeup on i'll just add the eyeliner and while it's wet i pop on those lashes let's go ahead and try and putting on a pair and see how they look and 
All right, let's get started. I'm so excited. All right, I'm gonna move you guys a little bit closer so you can really get in on the action. Okay, hello, up close and personal now. <laughs> All right, so a nice close up look at the eyeliner, isn't it? Such a pretty packaging. Okay, and then these are the lashes that I'm going to give a try. These are the Mini Me. So pretty. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to take this little guy and gently remove it from the packaging. So then they're like ready to pop on. We go, so be very gentle because they definitely are pretty stuck on there. All right, let's get to the eyeliner application. I love how pointy the felt tip is on here. So you might see that I, it looks like I have some eyeliner on there already, but that's my eyeliner tattoo that I'm basically just going to trace over. I was able to get just like the tiniest sharp little wing there because of how pointy this tip is. Really cool that you don't have to trim them or anything. So I've got it on here and I'm just going to place it on. Oh wow, that hold grabbed on really quickly. The adhesive is very sticky. Very sticky, it just like grabbed on right when I placed it. Wow, that was so fast. It's very comfortable because it's a little bit shorter on the inner and outer corner, so nothing is poking me at all. Wow, it feels very sturdy already. It's not, the eyeliner isn't even fully dried yet, but look, I can like tug on it and it feels very sturdy. Ooh, this is a really pretty lash and very natural too. <laughs> okay, let's put it on the other eye. All right, again, super, super tiny little thin wing there because of the awesome applicator. See, like it's not even, I didn't even place it fully on, but it's already starting to stick. Wow, so easy. And just like a little pro tip is make sure that you, when you put them in, you don't have to put them all the way into the inner corner. It really is meant for it to be a little bit shorter in the inner corner and shorter out here. So when I place the lashes, I'm definitely a little bit further out from my inner corner. So I probably place them like right here. And just to make sure that they're on, I kind of just like to like tap the strip to make sure that it really is stuck on to the eyeliner, but it feels very, very sturdy. Like seeing if there's anything lifting, but yeah, oh my gosh. And I think these are really pretty. And again, now that the eyeliner is totally dried, just giving the lashes a little tug. Wow, it feels really sturdy. If you're a person that is just starting out with strip lashes, this is a really cool way for you to start out because it's just so easy. The lashes are ready to go for you. And if you're comfortable with liquid eyeliner, you're able to put on these lashes. All you have to do is put on the eyeliner and then pop the lashes on and they are on. So overall, very impressed with it. I'm really enjoying the felt tip applicator on here and I think Think that these lashes are really pretty and you can wear them every day and they're not too crazy or too traumatic but what i will do is i will go about the rest of my day and just see how the eyeliner wears really see that if it holds up it doesn't smudge or anything weird like that and then what i also wanted to do is i wanted to take off the eyeliner with you too because a lot of the magnetic eyeliners or the other lash glue liner that i've tried it is pretty difficult to take 
off and I feel like it leaves a lot of like blue residue on my eye. So I just want to see how well this comes off and how easy it comes off. But overall, really impressed. And I think with all these really good like lash glue eyeliner hybrids that are coming out, I'm never going to go back to just like regular eyelash glue. It just seems like so extra and too many steps and too hard after just using this eyeliner to be able to boop on those lashes. I will check in with you guys later to see how these lashes held up. All right, see you guys later. Hello everyone, I am back. Apologies for my appearance, it has been a day, <laughs> but I have really put these lashes to the test. So I did a full work day, it was a long day, and then I decided that to really put this to the test, I know it's not good to work out with all my makeup on, but I thought what better to really put the eyeliner and lashes to the test than to do a workout. So I actually did a 30 minute Beyonce ride on my Peloton, got really sweaty and that's why she is glowing and she is red. <laughs> and apologies, but I think the winter skin is definitely settling in. My foundation is a little bit darker than the rest of me. I'm still in like my summer foundation mix and I feel like it's November now. I should probably lighten up on the foundation. But anyway, let's just look past that. Let's, let's focus on the lashes and the eyeliner. Well, I must say I am officially Impress. I don't know if you guys can tell. Let me just like lean in real close here, but nothing has budged at all. The liner is still completely intact and it hasn't run down at all. The lashes are still completely on here. Like that glue liner girl, she is she is working. I feel like I always have issues with the inner corner, no matter if it's glue or other brands of lash glue eyeliners or something like that. The inner corner just always lifts for me by the end of the day. It isn't lifting anywhere at all. And like, look, I'm like tugging pretty hard on these lashes and they are not budging anywhere. Let's try to take it all off. What I usually use to take off my makeup are these Kirkland Signature from Costco. Mm -hmm. Daily facial towelettes. I just love these. They're so great. I feel like they're very, trigger warning, they're very moist. <laughs> and I feel like the towelettes are really big. So I feel like it just really removes everything that I've got going on. Let's gently pull these off. I'm going to take it slow because I don't want to, it to hurt because honestly, that glue is tough. And then also you just wanna be careful because you don't want to mess up the lashes or anything. The lash is off. Let's, ooh, okay. Once she gets going, it's okay. Ooh, okay, it wasn't painful. I didn't tug any of my natural lashes off or anything like that. And let's just see how she removes. All right, here she is, totally fresh faced. And oh my gosh, that came off so easily. So I didn't put any extra rubbish. I feel like, <laughs> rubbish. <laughs> I feel like I didn't take any extra time to take off that eyeliner. Other drugstore products that are the eyeliner lash glue, although they work well, I have a hard time taking them off because it still very much feels like I'm trying to take off glue, where there's always like a sticky residue and I feel like I'm rubbing a lot on my eye, which isn't great, especially for the eyes because you wanna be gentle with this area because of you don't wanna get those wrinkles, girl, right? I feel like this Lash and Go eyeliner just came off like regular liquid liner, not even waterproof liquid liner. It came off easier than that. I feel like there is no extra residue. Sorry, I know you can't really tell too much because I do have that eyeliner tattoo, but Scout's Honor, it is pretty clean. So that was really easy to take off, which this is a huge pro of that. You guys, how exciting. I definitely will be using this every day. It's going to replace my drugstore one because this one comes off 
so much more easily and I feel like it holds a lot better as well. And also this tube is huge so I'm sure that this will last you a really really long time. I will be sure to link everything in the description box below that I tried out today so you can check it out yourself. Highly highly recommend that you giving this a try. And Valor was nice enough to give me a coupon code if you were interested in trying this out. I will also link that below but the coupon code is CARMEN15 so you can get 15% off your order. I would not steer you guys wrong. I would tell you guys the truth. Highly recommend you guys giving it a try. You will not be disappointed. And if you have any questions, obviously let me know and I'd be happy to answer them. Thank you. Thank you guys for your support. If you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell so you're notified as soon as I post my next video. And as always, take care of yourselves and each other and I will see you guys next week. Bye!